In this video, we're going to look at finding the z-score. This problem does not say that the student scores were normally distributed, although I've represented them here as normally distributed. We're told that the mean is 70 and that the standard deviation is 2.3. As just a passing sidelight, if this was uh, normally distributed, then there's a part of this curve that is concave down and a part of the curve that is concave up. A piece here and a piece here. If it was normally distributed, then we would know that one standard deviation away from the mean is where these happen. Therefore, right here, this point is going to be 72.3, one standard deviation above the mean. And of course, this point right here is going to be 70 minus 2.3. So in the case that this was normally distributed, then the mean would be here in the middle. The uh, one standard deviation below that, 70 minus 2.3, would be 67.7. And one standard deviation above that would be 72.1. And that's where those would be located. Now what we're asked to find is the z-score for a person who received a score of 66. So on this number line, 66 would be a little bit above here. So right around in here somewhere is where 66 is. And we want to find out the z-score of that or how many standard deviations it is away from the mean. That means that it's going to be down here it's not going to be all the way one standard deviation below, but it's going to be a little bit less than one standard deviation below the mean. So the z-score is going to be right around in here somewhere. x minus mu uh, divided by the standard deviations. What it's really doing is counting how many standard deviations it is away from the mean. Now remember this standard deviation was given to be 2.3. So now that's an easy calculation to do. Our z-score will be 66 minus 70 all divided by the 2.3. And now that'll just be an easy calculation either as a command in, in uh, R or on any calculator. The z-score is actually telling you how many standard deviations a, a particular value is away from the mean. So it's just going to be that value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation.